வணக்கம் ஹாப்பி பொங்கல் ஐ எம் ஹியர் இன் மதுராய் அட் த கோர்ட் யார்ட் பிராண்ட் மேரியட் வித் ஷெஃப் சோ அண்ட் ஷெஃப் ராஜன் அண்ட் ஐ பின் இன்வைட்டட் பை தேம் டு டேஸ்ட் திஸ் வெரி ஆத்தென்டிக் ஹோம் ஹாலி பேசிக்கலி தீஸ் ஆர் ரெசிபிஸ் யூ வில் ஃபைண்ட் இட் வெரி வெரி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கம்பேர்ட் அதர் ஹாலிஸ் த ரெசிபிஸ் ஆர் ஏஜ் ஓல் ரெசிபிஸ் விச் ஹாவ் பின் ஃபார்ட் இட் அண்ட் இட் கம் ரைட் ஃப்ரம் த வில்லேஜஸ் ஸோ இட்ஸ் பேசிக்கலி home grown recipes which shouldn't be missed so chefs you can take me through the thali so now tell me what is different about the thali i know it's home grown so madurai is for on pas and chicken biryani the first chicken biryani you know also right i'm guessing the ingredients will be slightly different uh, but yeah so what is different about your thali as and why why should people come here and what's so exciting hello everyone this is chef sobhu this thali special is like uh, it's very local uh, it's specially made with uh, it's made in villages uh, yes. and uh, at this festival time normally people do at home on the second day it's a matamogal day or uh, uh, a third day at the festival so basically the non veg part yeah, i'm guessing yeah part. and vegetarian part normally they do at home at this festival time. so the pongal oh, everyone they do pongal and press they do this curry and uh, this uh, white uh, meat curry and all the stuff and very well go with this curries and they use ragavan from madurai and uh, we used to do all these things as very good so we will explain each and every yes this color looks very enticing so let's start uh, for curry explain i want to say the blue is the main uh, motto of getting our potato and rice my grandma made it for me for for you in the daily life okay that could be a secret way they are very healthy yes. they both live until the age of 90 wow the story uh, these two are called kalis this is made out of ragi we call it kathakali this is made out of veggie seeds some flour this is called vendaikali this kali is uh, the reason for being a fascinating recipe in tamil cuisine is the combination with the dry fish curry is something amazing and also this can be eaten along with the mutton sauce also nice. so have the rice of course the biryani here some of the rice is the trademark rice of madurai biryani and this is called the black lentil rice we call it ulundu sauce ulundu means lentil the black lentil dum cooked with the rice and it goes very well with the mutton curry and also the rice is there so this curry can be eaten with all this and to go for the vegetarian section this is called posmali this is one of the Uh, signature dish of Kerala is made out of uh, brinjal cooked with tamarind. This is Kaigari kurma in the mixed vegetable curry made with coconut. And the special attraction is the vepumbu rasam. Vepumbu means neem blossoms. The flower which drops out of the neem tree. We have to dry it and temper with the ghee and add it to the rasam. It's a fantastic thing to people who are fighting against the diabetes. And of course, the signature after meal of South Indian cuisine. tempered curd rice always yes. always yes and the curd rice for accompanied by uh, curd chilies and the cluster bean vadam it's called the senior avaraka yes. and how easily do you get this i mean is, i've never seen this i mean i've been in chennai and i've never seen this called in tamil kothavaranga uh, they will dry it like same uh, as in potato uh, chilli how we dry it okay the same way the sandai we dry it and they will pour it and fry the beans and fry it in oil so as i hear from you all this seems like a thali of legacy and age old maybe 50 plus years i am since your grandmother's recipe so probably 90 95 100 years centuries uh, ago type of recipe and it all sounds very healthy and yummy so obviously usually as i said earlier the food is very fattening very you know this is healthy So I'm going to try and taste it and you know see what that is and how it is. So you said I may I the dry fish curry with this lentil rice kind of really attracted me. So I'm going to kind of start with that. Am I eating it the right way? Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. It's got a very sour and a very um, yeah, very sour pungent um, and it doesn't feel oily or anything. And that one, you said this is speciality. I mean, neem rasam. I've heard of so many other rasams, but a neem blossom rasam kind of sounds very exciting. Oh my God, this is yummy. 
So yeah, it's obviously a very healthy. I mean, something for diabetes, meal. I all we all know is very healthy. So this is completely a nutritional thali, and probably someone this itself is a lot. But if someone wants to eat more, they're not going to feel guilty about it the next day or go for a run. Yeah. So this is super chef. Thank you so much for this. And uh, I wanted to ask you. So now, as you said, this is a formal thali. So do you kind of get it all year round? This formal is only. Days of the year, our, you know. So what is about so that? So definitely, the people want to have this thali, and if they give an advance booking, we'll. Oh wow! So if you want to come, you know you're coming to Madurai. Definitely drop in. Give them like a two-day notice, I guess, which is enough, and have this thali. Don't miss it. It's healthy, nutritious, and yummy. So that's and what recipes are you going to share with me? Yeah, I'm going to share the thali recipe. So we have neem and okay so now I mean dry fish I know you're in the market is it where would I get neem blossom I mean if someone wants to make this how would they make it like what? Definitely you go to a old grocery store. Okay. They'll be having some contacts with them. Dry and give you the neem blossom. Okay so is it I mean is it only for a, a South Indian home or for some supposing someone wants to have it in North India or something would they, would they get it in those kind of? Oh, where are the neem leaves? Okay. Just, just plug the neem blossom. So you can do it at home also then. Yes. Oh, super! So I think neem tree at home or whatever just sun dried and anyway I'm going to be sharing the recipe. So start collecting your neem leaves. <laughs> Thank you.